Let's talk about peripheral arterial disease, warning signs, complications, and lifestyle impact. Hi, I'm Rima Malik. I'm a vascular surgeon, and I deal with peripheral arterial disease on a daily basis. Everything from small little wounds that are not healing to major tissue loss requiring amputations, I can safely say I have seen a lot of variety in peripheral arterial disease. Peripheral arterial disease refers to any sort of stenosis, blockage, cholesterol deposit that over time can clog up your circulation or your arteries. The function of the arteries is to supply oxygenated blood to other organs and to other parts of the body. And so when those arteries have issues or blockages, it can manifest in many different ways. So let's talk about what some of the warning signs are. Any sort of pain with activity is our basic screening question I use for my patients. So people who can't walk two blocks or they can't go to the mailbox, it can be an indication that they have peripheral arterial disease. What are some of the complications? The biggest risk or the biggest complication is needing an amputation. And how does it affect your lifestyle? I think just the fact that people have pain in their legs or pain in the top of their foot in more advanced cases at night. And they have to dangle their foot by the edge of the bed just to be able to get some relief. That's advanced for arterial disease. The most common risk factors are hypertension, diabetes, obesity, an unhealthy or inactive lifestyle, and smoking. So we have modifiable risk factors, and then we have not modifiable risk factors. So genetic history or elevated cholesterol or familial hypercholesterolemia. But things like that are in your control, such as your nutrition, whether you smoke or not, can directly impact the health of your blood vessels. So who needs a endovascular procedure versus who needs an open procedure? This basically starts with a physical exam. I am trying to assess whether there is symmetry in the pulse exam. What does your skin look like? Is it pale? Is it slightly rubrous? meaning it looks more pink or discolored in that regard. Also, some of these people also have purplish discoloration, tissue loss. Those can be telltale signs of underlying ischemic disease. 